Hello, I'm Carl at Trident Fly Fishing. Today we're going to tie the Moorish Hopper. The Moorish Hopper was created by Dan Moorish and considered by many to be one of the most effective hopper patterns out there. It utilizes a foam body which is easy to form using the River Road Creations cutters. These cutters are available in either a two-piece set in various sizes containing a body cutter and an indicator cutter, or you can also purchase a large and small hook size set containing four cutters each. There's a bit of a variation for this fly for the rear legs. I'll be using the River Road Hopper Leg Cutter for the rear legs instead of the original round rubber leg. So here's the fly in the vise. So the first thing we're going to do is cut out the body components for this fly. They're made up using hairline fly foam in two millimeter. The indicator um, is also the same except a different color. What I've done here is I've taken um, three pieces of foam, two of the tan in two millimeter and one in yellow in two millimeter and I've glued them all together just using some spray adhesive that you can pick up in any hardware store. Cutters come in a package like this. This one's a size 10 and this is the body cutter. It also comes with a, a hard rubber backing so you can make the cuts without hurting any of your table surfaces. So we're gonna place this on top and just push it through. And you can see that it's cut all the way through. Sometimes the tail of the fly stays in the foam and it makes it easy to pull out. Sort of did there. And there we have our foam body. Now this needs to be trimmed up to look a little more hopperish. So we're gonna take our scissors and we're going to cut back at an angle starting here all the way back to what would be the back of the abdomen and we're going to do the same thing on the other side good sharp pair of scissors really helps here now the rest of it's relatively easy we're just going to soften the edges up all the way around And for the head, we'll just make a couple of quick cuts to shape it. There. There's our basic body. Now it can be a little hard to see in the water, so they've provided us with a, an indicator cutter. And this is some orange two millimeter foam. Works the same way. Just press the cutter down until it comes all the way through. A lot of times it leaves the tail in like that, which makes it easy to remove. Next is going to be some rear legs. Once you've got all these components cut out, the fly really ties fast. So this is the package that the hopper legs come in, and um, it comes in three different sizes, large, medium, and small. This is a small for size 10 through 12. It comes with the cutter and a backing. And it works the same way as the body. except it always gets stuck in the cutter, which is pretty easy to get out. Cutters are very sharp, so be mindful of that as you're using them. And last are some rubber legs. For that, we're gonna use some hairline medium round rubber legs. These are in uh, dark golden stone. It's kind of a tan color. And this is a finished leg. All it is is a piece of that round rubber leg that I've tied an overhand knot in and taken a dab of Zappa Gap and placed it over the knot to hold it in place. So easy to do. Just a quick overhand knot. And a little bit of Zappa Gap. Give that not a stretch to set it. There we go. All right, now we've got all the components ready to go, we can tie the fly. 
The hook we're going to use today is a TMC 5262. This is a size 10. And our thread is going to be some UTC 70 denier and tan. We'll start our thread right behind the hook eye. So we'll run our thread back to the hook bend. This is going to form a base for the body, the foam body of the fly. I have already cut out the body and trimmed it up. Run this back and forth just to give it some material to grab onto because we're going to glue this body on with some Zappa Gap. So I'll just and to prepare the body for the hook, we're going to use a razor blade and we're going to cut right down the center of the body all the way through the yellow foam. Don't have any go any deeper than that. Place this on top. Give it a bit of a squeeze. And we'll take a couple of thread wraps to form our first segment of the body. Now the legs are going to go in next. I think they're just a little bit large. So I'm going to marry the two legs up. And cut about a mil and a half off. Really easy to tie in. One on either side. With just a couple of wraps. Don't worry if the legs splay out far like that. We'll fix that. There we go. And next we're going to tie in the indicator, which I've already cut out. It's going to sit right on top, just a little bit back from the head. A couple of turns is all you need to hold it in place. And then we're going to run our thread back up across the top of the fly. And that will be hidden by the indicator. And this will form the head of the fly. There we go. Next, we're going to tie in our legs. These are uh, Hairline's medium round rubber legs, and all I have done here is just tie them in a simple knot. And I've placed a drop of Zappa Gap at the knot so that it won't come undone. And I placed the knot back where we made the first body segment. Take a couple of wraps, not overly tight. And you can still position the legs the way you want. I'm trying to position them so that that leg behind the knot is pointed down. Take our second leg. Tie that in at the same point. Those look pretty good. Now we're going to take some more Zappa Gap and going to place it at the tie-in point of those legs so that they don't move around when we do our whip finish. Just a daub there, a daub there, same thing on the rear legs, just reinforces them like so. And now because the rear legs are kind of splayed out the way they are, on our bodkin, we'll put just a little bit of that Zappa Gap and sneak that in behind the leg. And then we can push the leg up against the body. And it'll stay there. Once again, just a little bit of that Zappa Gap behind the leg. Push it up against the body. Give it a second or two to set. There. So now we're ready to do a whip finish on the fly. Three turns ought to do it. Doesn't have to be too many. Cut our thread and cut our legs to length. This is purely up to you. And the front legs on these tend to be kind of short. 
there. Last, we're going to add a little bit more Zappa Gap to the bottom of the fly at our tie-in points. Right there and kind of along the bottom. Almost done. Got to have eyes. Just got a Copic marker here. We'll move that leg out of the way. Paint an eye. Paint another eye. And our fly is complete. Please feel free to add comments at the bottom of the page and don't forget to hit that subscribe button to see all the new content here at Trident Fly Fishing. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again next time.